Hello YouTube, this is Carl. So I've been playing this game called APB Reloaded, which is just got out of closed beta. It's in open beta right now, but it's looking pretty complete, pretty good. And a lot of my friends have been asking me about it. So basically it's an MMO. I don't usually like MMOs. Flying around on dragons and squishing elves is not quite my thing, but this is a bit different. Uh, basically you're, there are two uh, factions in a city, uh, vigilante cops and uh, criminals. And your object is to do missions and essentially kill each other. But what's really cool is the uh, customization goes really, really deep. So I decided that uh, it would be a good idea to take you on a little tour. So let's start in the social district. Uh, this is where people can customize themselves. And as you can see, this guy here, he just uh, put on some music at a turntable setup. You can actually import your whole MP3 collection to the game, and uh, other users can hear it when at these stations or when you're driving a car. Um, I don't know if it's the exact same song. I think they use Last.fm to find a similar song because of uh, licensing or something. Um, so, uh, got to run over across the social map here to get to my uh, clothing customizer. I don't really dig the fact that you have to walk across the whole map to to go to a physical location to do customization, it gets a bit old, but you can't have everything, so um, here we go, we're just about there, wait for it, and here we are. So you can look at my character, you can, uh, when you're building your character, you can change just about everything, um, ranging from the skin tone to the size of your ears to like your nostril flare and shape to the type and amount of detail of wrinkles on your forehead just about everything tattoos hairstyles uh, you can uh, also customize and well buy pieces of clothes and customize just about anything on the clothes themselves so right here I might as well show you I will customize my glasses you can change colors of various aspects uh, and uh, you can add symbols to them which I'll add some super snazzy stars to my lenses here so uh, as you can see it's pretty customizable right there uh, a lot of people are really really creative with their characters um, ranging from clowns to people running around in their underwears to suits to sort of crazy cyber gangster outfits one of my favorite bits of customization in the game uh, is of course the cars, uh, being I, that I love cars. So uh, here are a couple of my cars. That's my main car. It's my 24 Hours of Lemons car, um, and a couple of my other cars. Different cars are good for different things. You know, some seat more people, some have better ramming capabilities, some are faster. That's the starter car, which is pretty much useless that I customized a little bit. Um, and uh, just for the sake of showing you how to the customization works. I'll go ahead and buy a van and uh, I'll sped this bit up to four times just to save some time here but you'll see uh, you can change uh, body parts, add bits, change your wheels, um, you unlock more body parts as you progress in the game, uh, change colors of various parts of the car, uh, you can add metallic or pearlescent paint which is pretty cool and uh, then you can get into the symbol editor. You can actually make your own symbols if you like. Like I have, I made that little police sign. Um, and uh, you can, well, here, we'll make one uh, that says Crim Corpse Removal. Just to uh, troll some crims out there in the game. Uh, so, uh, the game is free, but uh, you can have a paid account. I think it's about 10 bucks a month. It'll give you like 30 days of a premium account, which enables you to put a lot more symbols on your car. With the free account, I think you're limited to like uh, just a few, but you could actually make symbols in this editor, and they only count as one symbol, so people can still get pretty creative with that. So, uh, I found a great way to do text is to just drop all the letters on. You can highlight them all and resize them and then move them side to side. Uh, it's a lot faster and easier than putting them in and individually resizing them. So that's something to know if you get into the game. You can get pretty advanced with the symbols. You can put backgrounds, um, uh, gradients, patterns, 
Um, for this, I'll keep it pretty simple, though, because uh, this is a crim corpse removal then, after all. Another great thing to uh, customize is music. Yes, this game has a full-fledged MIDI sequencer in it and a whole bunch of drum kits. Maybe that's your type of thing, eh? That's, that's my song. Drum kits, uh, soft synths, etc. And uh, you can make a full-fledged song, but you can also make what's called a death theme, which is when you kill a player on the other side or you win a mission. Um, that's exactly what they hear. So a lot of people make... Uh, Rick Astley, for instance, or various songs. I, this one was one I just banged up myself, so uh, I hope the criminals enjoy it. So now I've just uh, spawned in one of the action districts. There's two. Uh, this one is the financial district where I'm currently working my contact. So I uh, just pledged to him. Uh, you can do a lot of stuff with the contacts where you kind of do your inventory um, so okay. as you can see my weapons I have a weapon that's uh, slotted it has some uh, sort of power-ups there's my character I have a couple of character customizations in there that allow me to like ram doors quicker and have a Kevlar vest and uh, you can change your car and stuff too you can get slotted cars uh, and improve their speed ramming etc the current one that I have doesn't have any slots but it's pretty fast and there it is. So again, this is actually from my MP3 collection. This is a band called Cobalt, and uh, I'm playing it in the game. It's pretty nice. Who says you need a dragon to fly? Speaking about cars, I was actually grouped with a bunch of people who had pretty nice uh, custom cars, and for some reason we all just parked here and looked at each other's cars for a while, so you can get an idea of the, the sort of customizations people do. Um, people can get pretty creative, sometimes inappropriate. Another thing in the game that you'll uh, see is truck briefing. It got a lot better. They used to be able to blow your car up by smashing you against the wall, even if you weren't hit against them. It doesn't happen now, but uh, it's still prevalent. So, one of the uh, ways you progress in the game, of course, is doing missions. You can do missions solo, but I highly recommend that you team up with someone or with a group of people. This is a lot funner. Being solo uh, gets a bit tedious because uh, sometimes you're just, you know, against one other guy and uh, you're just waiting for each other to come around the corner so you can off them. Uh, with a group, the action gets a lot better. Uh, you know, you gotta people hanging out of your car and they can shoot, you're chasing each other, and sometimes the action gets uh, pretty intense, and uh, oftentimes uh, you can call for backup and the groups will join, so you end up having something like 10 versus 10, and that gets pretty crazy. That guy uh, doesn't trust my driving for some reason. So different types of missions, I'm gonna raid stuff, you do graffiti cleanup, uh, deal capture the flag, and uh, more raiding type of things, and then uh, you know bringing packages to destinations, and uh, my favorite, protect the VIP, uh, that's a lot of fun. When you are in the car with a VIP or someone who has a really important package, the car slows down a lot. A lot of people don't like that, it's a new feature, but I sort of do because it makes it more fun. It actually makes the people chasing you able to catch up. There's a bit more action. Uh, otherwise, you spend the whole game just sort of driving around the map, and uh, that also gets a bit boring. someone else's death theme. Once you've been in-game for a certain amount of time, and uh, your prestige starts getting up, so you get more rewards, and eventually you get up to the top level, which is 5, which this guy down here just did. Um, and uh, at that point, it's actually you against the entire map. You actually show up on everyone's map, and anyone on the map can kill you. You can kill them, which is great, because you, know, you can get a lot of points and rewards that way. However, uh, everybody starts coming towards you and um, you ultimately 
are gonna bite it, and then you'll be prestige level four again. It gets a lot of um, to be a lot of fun. So ultimately, my impressions of the game are good. The maps are amazing. Uh, it's really cool to see so much player-generated content. Uh, I mean, it really ensures you're gonna get a different experience every time, you're seeing different designs, different characters, interacting with different people, hearing different sounds. Uh, you know, the possibilities are endless. Some of the things I'd like to see, I'd love to see a racing map, since you can customize your cars and make them faster and stuff, and master driving them. Uh, that would be really cool. Uh, and then maybe a, you know, different modes, like a total Armageddon map, where everybody is pitted against each other would be really cool. So anyways, I think I'm about out of time, so I uh, hope to see you in game, and I'm out of